whether it was spontaneous, orchestrated by the Trump campaign, or the work of the Bernie Sanders campaign, it will be known later this evening if the violence at Trump's Chicago rally and others will have a negative impact on his status as frontrunner. If you listen to the pundits right now on cable news, this is bad, all bad, and he'll get clobbered in the general. But if you trace back through the campaign and see what happened immediately after stumbles or bad days for Trump, this will be good, all good. The debate has turned to race and bigotry now, rightfully so, and everyone's still talking about Trump's reaction or lack thereof to clashes at his rallies, or as he calls them, shows. But I have to wonder if everyone's laying it on thick, especially thick right now, because they want to take him out so badly out of fear and jealousy. No doubt about it, this has gone awry, and you may not like what he says and how he says it, but remember, he is the only Republican running who might be telling the truth about why the middle class is collapsing. He first tapped into that back when he first hit the campaign trail and started talking about unfair trade and how it's killed factory jobs. And as one op-ed pointed out, he pointed his finger right at China.